The Great Resignation, Insights from TPC Leadership. What is it? What's driving it? What's being done? What's not changing? What's the mindset change? And what's the role of leadership? Hello, and welcome to this video series on The Great Resignation. You'll have seen it all over the media, both printed and online, the references to The Great Resignation or The Great Reshuffle or The Great Reset or The Great Quit, as I've also seen it referred to. Well, what is it? And does it actually exist? Well, if we think of a larger number of people leaving the workplace voluntarily than has been the case in previous years, driven by certain social economic factors, then yes, for sure, the Great Resignation exists. On the other hand, different social economic factors have in the recent past also driven other people to leave the workplace. Just think of millennials and uh, their mismatched expectations with some of the workplace. So what is the Great Resignation? What characterizes it? Well, it's a movement of people, a social trend, if you like, by which people in comfortable, well-paid, mainstream jobs voluntarily decide to leave those jobs. And they do it citing a number of reasons, but all those reasons tend to be around more flexibility, more opportunity to contribute in different ways to society, more time to be able to do what they really want to do in life. So if you think about it, it's really about a mismatch in values. People are seeking some alignment with values that they have, which the organizations they work with can't give them. In the end, if you think about it, people are seeking a higher purpose to what they do. It's undeniable that the COVID-19 pandemic had a significant impact as a catalyst to the Great Resignation. People simply started thinking, you know, life is short. And if life is short, I should really spend it doing what I most enjoy doing and with the people I really like to be with. And unfortunately, not everyone is lucky enough to have a job where they can do that. So people started thinking, what if I do something completely different? Or perhaps, what if I do the same thing, but I do it more on my terms, more flexibility in terms of where I work from, more flexibility in terms of when I work and how I work. Perhaps people were seeking just a way to contribute more to society. COVID-19 brought up to us how interconnected we are and how challenging the world we live can be. And perhaps helping other people has become more important to most of us. Now, the organizations from which people have been leaving as part of the Great Resignation have, of course, realized that this movement is a drain on talent and one that could have significant impact in long-term survival. And so, of course, they've tried to do something to help. They've listened to their employees and their employees will say, well, uh, we would like to have more flexible benefits, benefits that are more aligned to our lifestyle. Okay, so here's a package with uh, some additional benefits you can use. Or perhaps people will say, well, we'd like to work from home, just as we did throughout most of the pandemic. And so organizations have put in place work from home programs or people might say, well, one of the things that's come out of the pandemic is that mental health is really an important part of my well-being, and I need to be able to balance that with what I have to do at work. And so programs have come, companies have come up with mental health programs. And all of this helps, and I'm sure that some people have decided not to leave their organizations as a result of these measures. But if you think about it, what's not really changing is the mindset. Most of the organizations impacted by the Great Resignation are companies with a very commercial, strong focus. Companies are very results oriented. And so they tend to be focused also on profit and short-term profit. And of course, that isn't necessarily compatible with the values of the people that are leaving want. And in the end, what these companies are doing is, well, employees ask for something, we provide it. We provide it because we know that we're gonna to continue to work people hard using certain work, work approaches. And therefore to keep them happy, we provide these measures. But in fact, the mindset hasn't changed. Now, most of the challenges and the potential solutions that we discussed are really core to the sort of work that TPC leadership does. Our focus is on helping transform leaders, helping the people become better leaders as a way of enabling organizational transformation. And of course, a lot of it is linked to helping organizations understand their purpose and how they can cascade it throughout the organization so everyone has a meaningful purpose at work. And of course, these areas relate very closely to why people are leaving organizations as part of the Great Resignation. So over the next month or so, you will hear from some of our partners insights that they have had throughout their experience, throughout the work that they've done with a number of our clients on how organizations can become more attuned to what people are looking for and therefore address this phenomenon of the Great Resignation. So I hope those insights are useful.